uh, now how we can check the and configure MTU and MSS. So first let's uh, uh, discuss about the window. So in Windows, uh, there is a command netchat interface IPv4 show sub interface. Uh, we will check it in, uh, in our uh, Windows system uh, Windows system as well as to configure uh, netchat uh, interface IPv4 site sub interface. Mention the interface name, MTU value and store persistent. Okay, so now let me open CLI uh, of Windows. Uh, to open command prompt in Windows, you need to press Windows R and then need to type a CMD, uh, CMD okay. So, and after that, you have to enter this command at state uh, interface IPv4, so in sub interfaces, okay. So in this uh, case, you look at the MTU column to see the current MTU value for your network interface, for example, I connected it via Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi MD will be, value will be this. Okay. Same way you can check for other sub interface as well as okay. This is the my zero tire one application. This is different. But you can ignore this one. Okay. So if we need to configure the uh MTO, then we have to use like net state. Okay. Uh come on, just a minute, like this. I am unable to pop. So, like this next state interface IPv4 site sub interface. Here, I have to mention the interface name. For example, I have to mention, like, I have to change for Wi Fi or Ethernet. I have to mention that name, empty value, and store pers persistent. Okay. Right now, I am not connected with the local line. That's why it's giving an error. And after that, you can also, after configuring this empty value, you can cross verify using the same command, this command. Okay, uh, for MSS value, uh, MSS is typically negotiated during the TCP 3 way and 6, so isn't con directly configured. But uh, if you want to check the MSS value, you can you, uh, you can do one thing. You can uh, capture the packet and you can open that uh, capture in packet in wireless uh, application or you can or you can use the TCP uh, dump as well as. Okay, so just uh, let me show me. Okay, so. This is the one of the TCP uh, three way and check example. So in during the first packet, like during the same packet, the MSS value automatically negotiated. Okay. Or else you can download the, um, or you can use the uh, TCP dump. Okay. So in TCP dump, you can uh, filter out uh, with the uh, plex. So in uh, sync flag, you can identify the MSS value. We have to check the sync flag on the TCP sync flag. Okay, and that packet, that that uh, information will contain the MSS value. Okay. Uh, now for Linux, I don't have uh, any uh, live terminal right now, but you can make a use of uh, IP link. So and specify the interface where you have to. Oh, check the MTU value. Okay, for example, Ethernet zero, one, two, three. If I I in this example, I have to check on Ethernet zero. That's why I mentioned it, Ethernet zero. Same way to configure, you can use the sudo ip link set the uh, uh, interface value MTU and MTU value. Okay. So like that way, you can configure the MTU uh, and uh, MSS uh, value. We can configure as well as but by default it's automatically negotiated uh, uh, okay uh, let's see uh, how we can con uh, configure in windows uh, so in windows I, I need to click on windows r and then type page edit after that you need to click it it will open the registry okay and in this registry you have to go to this part uh, interface computer local edge, uh, local machine system system current control set service tcp parameter and interface here you have to click uh, uh, add the new value like this and you have to mention the value okay so this is the one uh, example where we can configure the mss value in windows but we are not preferring it generally this is the i'm just giving a simple like okay and after that uh, uh, you required a reboot okay so 